Mexico City is considered to be the third largest city in the world. The people of Mexico City are hardworking, friendly, and family-centered. They are also fanatics of soccer and possess rich cultural heritage. Unfortunately, Catholicism and economic inequality are also marks of this beautiful city. The influence of Catholicism is noticeable in their everyday culture, political system, and family traditions. In fact, the birth of the Virgin of Guadalupe on December the 12th has become one of their biggest holidays. Of Mexico City's population of 27 million, 83% claim Catholicism, church attendance is a low priority, and less than 4% claim to be Baptist. The people of Mexico City are lost and in need of the gospel. My name is Steve Kim and we are missionaries to Mexico City. I was born in Korea and when I was 8, I moved to Mexico City with my parents. I was saved in 2005 and soon after surrendering to full-time ministry, I returned to the States to study at West Coast Baptist College. Upon graduation, the Lord allowed me to start and pastor the Spanish congregation of Bible Baptist Church near Los Angeles, California under the leadership of Pastor Timothy Choi. In 2015, the Lord called me to be a missionary to Mexico, and for the following four years, God directed me to further my preparation in Pensacola Theological Seminary. Finally, in October of 2019, my church sent me out as a missionary to Mexico. Growing up, I hadn't realized of the great need in the city, but after being called, God touched my heart with the immense need for the gospel in this city. Walking through the streets and markets and going out soul winning, I saw the tremendous spiritual need, and as I visited churches and attended conferences, I understood the need for more laborers. With these needs in mind, I prayed and meditated upon my calling to Mexico City. After several months, God confirmed my calling to plant churches through Malachi 1.5, which says, And your eyes shall see, and ye shall say, The Lord will be magnified from the border of Israel. We are currently making plans for our first church plant and seeking God's wisdom regarding how we can best train nationals. Our vision is to plant indigenous churches with strategies replicable by Mexican pastors in order to see our efforts become multi-generational. Mexico City is a busy city with lovely people, but it is a city with staggering needs. Would you prayerfully consider partnering with us to plant churches and magnifying the name of the Lord through your prayers and support? I understand uh, we have to tear down in a few minutes, so I won't take long, but um, my name is Steve Kim, as you, as you saw in the video, and uh, we're missionaries to Mexico City, and uh, yes, I see some Hispanic faces, so uh, uh, es un placer estar con ustedes en esta mañana, and I see some smiling faces, I'm sure you understand that, and uh, well, uh, 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 I'm going to try to cut it short, uh, but you know, give you a report. Uh, I'd like to share some of my testimony of how the Lord has worked in our ministry in the last couple of years. At the same time, I'd like to share with you what uh, God has placed in our hearts for the next, uh, for this coming year. And so, uh, to begin with, as uh, Brother Nathan said, uh, some of you may remember me uh, from the video, and I was uh, I was a little bit younger then, I guess. Uh, I'm just kidding. And the, I, I wanted to say thank you for your prayers and your support. And really. Uh, you know, your church, you came along in a crucial time for uh, in our ministries. And so let me briefly explain that uh, as, as a way of testimony uh, and share with you what the Lord has done, how He has been working in our hearts, in our lives. Uh, we moved in 2019, and um, as soon as we moved, our plans were frustrated by COVID, as you know, as we know with, with, uh, with many of us. And um, we had moved down to Mexico without having raised the full support. And in our minds, we had our plans of how we were going to be more efficient um, in our, our raising support and in preparation. And uh, in average, a missionary, for a missionary, it takes about five years before the missionary can begin his ministry. And that's including deputation, language school, and also getting acquainted with the, uh, with the culture and the new country. And so because we're, um, you know, we're gonna be 40 soon, 
uh, you know, talking with pastors, talking with my parents and our missionaries, we thought, okay, we're gonna, this is what we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna move to Mexico and we're gonna travel and, the, uh, and in that way, we can uh, maybe curtail maybe three, four years of our preparation time so that we can be more efficient for the Lord. And so, so that was a plan. And so since 2019, we have been living in Mexico City. Uh, and as you know, around that time, COVID hit. And, um, and you know, our, turn, our plans were changed. Um, after some counsel with my, pa with my pastor and my parents, uh, we thought the best was for us uh, back in 2019 uh, to stop uh, visiting churches and to stop deputation. And uh, by then we had visited two churches. And so uh, if you know a little bit about, you know, I mean, it's no sacred finances. Uh, of course, that's not enough to support a family. Uh, but, you know, that's what we have. But, uh, you know, we thought, uh, we decided, uh, along, you know, again, with the, with the counsel of my pastor and, and, in the, and my family, uh, my parents, that uh, that was gonna be the best choice back then. And so it was 2019, late 2019, beginning 2020, and we were in Mexico City as missionaries with probably the least amount of support uh, that you know, any missionary has had. Uh, and so a lot of things went through our minds thinking, you know, God, if you, if you would have just guided us to finish the reputation before moving you know, to Mexico, but, um, so, so that's what happened, but I'm, I'm, I'm happy to report that God has been good to us. God has been faithful with us. Uh, but back then, we really felt in a situation like Moses and the Red Sea. Meaning, you know, we, were, you know, we went there, we couldn't come back. I mean, moving, it's not exactly, you know, it's not like, you know, drive through right? Um, you know, it's a lot of efforts. There was no place for us to come back. Uh, we had, you know, sold everything. You know, we had, you know, I mean, we had nothing. And, um, but, you know, little by little, God, you know, opened the doors. And one of the churches that really uh, reached out to us was your church. Uh, you know, even through, you know, even through a video, you know, we couldn't come here. Um, but, uh, you know, but, you know, through the video, you know, you watched and, the, uh, and you know, by God's grace, um, your church and you know, a few other churches decided to uh, take us on for support. And so for us, uh, that, that is a huge blessing. Uh, because in the last couple of years, it has been uh, times of trying for us, as you can imagine. Uh, but God has been faithful, and your church had a crucial part in our family. And so we really wanted to thank you for that. And uh, we have been wanting to come here uh, in person to thank you. And today, God has given us the opportunity. And so again, we want to say thank you uh, for your faithfulness, for your support, and for your prayers. And now we believe that this year, this is a year for us to move out by faith. Um, and we, st we still have a lot of support that we, has, we have to raise. But um, I, won't, uh, I won't go in, into much detail, but we, we believe by the end of this year, uh, December 2022, we believe God wants us to plant a church in Mexico City. And uh, we are, if you know Mexico City, our burden is for the southwest side of Mexico City. And there are a lot of good churches and missionaries in Mexico City, but there is still a lot of need. And so we believe that's where God would have us to start a church. And if you would please pray for us, uh, this year is a year of preparation. And so um, what I would like to do now is briefly share with you uh, uh, the plan that we have for this present year. So we're dividing this year into four stages of preparation. Uh, this is besides the uh, deputation efforts and uh, we, uh, we already have pre-selected four areas within the southwest uh, part of Mexico City. Uh, and so uh, if, you would, uh, if you would remember these and, uh, and pray for these, uh, you know, we would really appreciate it. Uh, so the first stage is, of course, choosing the location. And, you know, Mexico City is a big city, and so we believe that choosing the right location is very important. Uh, and again, we already have four uh, areas selected based on um, how uh, easy it is for people to approach with the, uh, uh, in, in the public transportation. Um, and the, um, we also have selected uh, those areas based on, uh, uh, well, okay, we consider if there's a university or you know, college campuses nearby, we would like to begin uh, ministering to the college campuses. Uh, and also uh, demographics, we want to, uh, we want it to, be in the center um, uh, to be to be a central to be in a central location of the most diverse uh, uh, how, how would you call it economic groups 
uh, as possible to, so that we can uh, reach out to everyone. And so we have four areas selected right now. And right now, if you would please uh, pray with us up until March, uh, we're going to visit those places, meet with the people, uh, go door knocking and soul winning, and see where God is leading. Right, where see God is uh, opening doors, moving hearts, and so uh, that's what we're uh, doing right now. And so, uh, uh, please pray for that. And the second stage is, of, of course, evangelism, uh, and that's going to be uh, th that's going to be in the second half of this year, uh, starting what well, second half? Maybe May. Starting May, we're gonna, uh, we're planning to, uh, of course, do a lot of soul winning, and uh, and I pray God opens doors, and uh, you know, if 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 your pastor decides to uh, to visit us. We would love to, you know, have you there. We would love to, you know, share with you some good tacos, and uh, you know, uh, so, so that you can also get a first-hand experience of the crime in Mexico City. I'm just kidding with that. Um, but uh, we have some plans, and so if you would please pray, uh, our plan is uh, to have ten churches uh, to help us out with soul winning, and each church to at least hand out ten thousand tracks, so that we would have hundred thousand tracks uh, handed out. Uh, and also uh, with evangelism, uh, Mexico City, as you, if you know Mexico, uh, there is an increasingly we're seeing gated communities and uh, door knocking people that are responding because of the crime and uh, different things. And so, uh, but but we want to we want to reach out to them. And one thing we want to do is use some kind of Facebook or Google Maps or, or whatever uh, to try to uh, you know, reach out to them. And our goal is to is to uh, present a church plant. Uh, to at least uh, 900,000 people through through Facebook or, or something, uh, social presence. Uh, so the, our goal is that uh, by December 2022, at least a million people in Mexico City have at least uh, received a track, uh, spoke to me personally, or seen on their social media that we are starting a church. Uh, so please pray for that. Uh, pray for that plan, uh, uh, so that we can we can have an impact in their. Uh, in Mexico City with the gospel of Jesus Christ. And also, as you saw here, uh, I'll be brief. Uh, our vision is to have indigenous churches. Uh, and our job is not to you know, make a name of ourselves, but from now on we're thinking, uh, what will those churches happen? What will happen to them once God moves us or once it's time for us to retire? And so because of that in mind, um, from now on, we're praying for a co-labor. Uh, we're praying specifically for a couple who have graduated from a Bible college in Mexico. Uh, any Bible college in Mexico, I mean, of course, Baptist Bible College, and the, so that they could, you know, we can partner together. Uh, and so that is a crucial element in our ministry um, in order to see indigenous ministries in the future. So if you would uh, please pray for that. And of course, uh, the final stage is in December. It's going to be the launching stage, right? So. Uh, again, as I, as I share, uh, the, uh, the one million, uh, at least people, to, to have, have exposed our ministry to, uh, to at least a million people. And also, we're, uh, we're, uh, we believe in the power of prayer. And so, uh, another goal that we have is, so that by the launch time, uh, I want to uh, uh, at least have 100 churches that would, that would, uh, spend, uh, that, that would spend a, a special time of prayer for our church plan. And so, um, and, I, and I pray that your church would be at one of those 100 churches. And uh, the plan is I'm going to give you a, 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 an extended, a detailed list of the prayer requests. And, the, uh, and I'm praying and, and, and I'm envisioning that 100 churches would, uh, you know, would get together specifically to pray for our church plan. And I know that God will do something great uh, uh, if, 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 if many people get together, uh, join together in prayer. Um, another thing that we desire to do in the, for the church plan is uh, we would love to, uh, we're, we're asking God uh, by, by the time that we plant a church, as you saw, that we would have at least seven to, five, uh, seven to ten families already uh, in a Bible study with disciples so that they can, uh, they can start with us. And also, uh, we're asking God that we be able to start with a nursery and a children's ministry. Uh, I mean, uh, I'm sure you know why, and we believe that's also important. Uh, and uh, just the basic needs. Uh, we're praying that God would provide uh, for the basic needs when we start a church. 
and I'm sure uh, you're not unfamiliar with you know what that means the pulpit a keyboard and you know the, those basic things so so that's basically what we're planning to do this year and we believe this is a crucial year for our ministry and yeah so please keep praying for us and then we will let you know more in detail in our uh, uh, now it's gonna be a bi-monthly report and so again we want to thank you and we're also praying for you for your transition uh, that God will lead each way as he has done with our ministry and I'm sure he will uh, be faithful with you so uh, I didn't present my minister uh, my wife because she already sang but um, but I I'd like to do it either way so if you would please send uh, Bora her name is Bora we've been married for 13 years and we have two daughters uh, which are in the uh, they're still alive, right? Okay. All right. They're in the, in the uh, children's ministry. Uh, Yuna and Gina, 11 and 8 years old. So um, uh, again, it, uh, it was an honor for us to uh, have a part in this in, uh, today in today's service, and I'll hand, hand it back to Brother Nathan. Thank you so much.